artist and welcome to today's video. After hours and days of searching, of headaches, of going crazy, you finally, you finally found, found it. it. A video about how to bring marvelous designer stuff into ZBrush. So you're welcome. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, just one thing I wanted to let you know. This is my workflow. It's not right. It's not wrong. You do what you want with it. So now that you know, let's just jump right into it. All right. So to begin with, we're just going to check the topology of the clothing. And as you can see, if we zoom in, everything is triangulate, which is not the best case scenario while working in ZBrush. So the first step we're going to take is actually to quadrilate all of the clothing so we can easily work in ZBrush. To do so, we're just going to go here on the right where we can see the pattern of our clothing and simply select this tool over here, which is the transform pattern, or you can click on A on the keyboard and select by dragging with the mouse all of the clothing that is here on the patterns. Now, as you can see here on our 3D viewport, everything has been selected. And now we can simply click on your right mouse button. We're going to freeze everything. This way, all of the clothing data, uh, such as the wrinkles, is going to be kept and nothing is going to change while transforming this into quads. Now, the second step we're gonna take while everything is still being selected, we're going to go here into our edit, context menu, 3D garment, and finally quadrangulate. So as you can see, the program is loading the transformation. And now if we zoom in, everything has been quadrilate and is ready to be sent in ZBrush. Okay. So now that everything has been quadrilate, what we want to do is simply go to our file while everything is once again being selected and go to export, export FBX. After selecting an FBX as an exporter, a window is going to appear with a few more options. The first one is if I want different object for each part or if I want it to be a single object, so everything combined. I chose a single object, which seems weird, but you will understand later. Next is if I want the vertices to be weld or unweld. I chose unweld so that I can easily assign different polygroup for each pattern. Then I chose thin instead of thick because I will create the thickness in ZBrush with extrude. And finally, I'm choosing centimeters as a measurement because that is what I chose to import in Marvelous Designer. Okay. In ZBrush, to bring our clothing, simply go in Z plugging and then import. As you can see in the outliner, there is only one subtool, which is in the entire outfit combined. Let's fix that so that we have different subtools for different clothing. So the first task is to use auto polygroup, which can be found in the polygroups tab. Since we have not weld the patterns together back in Marvelous Designer, we have different polygroups for different parts. The next step is to isolate the clothing parts together so we have different subtools for different clothing. Okay, so the way I go about things is I use Ctrl Shift and click on the part which I want to isolate. And then by clicking Ctrl Shift again, but this time dragging with the mouse, uh, I'm going back to my previous selection and I'm going to click Ctrl Shift on all of the other parts which are supposed to make the coat. Thank you. 
All right, so now that we have all of the parts that makes the coat, what we want to do is delete whatever is not necessary. So for instance, uh, to make the puffy sleeves, I had to have another layer for the sleeve. <laughs> so uh, I'm simply going to click again on Control Shift on the puffy one. And underneath it, as you can see, I have uh, the flat sleeve underneath, which allowed me to create the effect in Marvelous Designer. So uh, to remove it, I'm simply going to select the Z Modeler brush. And with the Z Modeler, I am going to point on a face, uh, have delete selected and Polygroup Island. So Polygroup Island is simply going to select whatever is the same color. And so when I'm going to click on the on one of the face that makes one of the polygroup, it's going to be deleted. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, I'm isolating the puffy sleeve and then I'm clicking on the flat sleeve, which will delete it instantly. One last thing I can do to see if I'm missing anything that's not necessary is to go in my display properties and click on double faces, which will allow me to see both sides of the mesh. Um, and so this way I can see if I missed anything that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. Okay, so everything looks good to me. So to finalize the coat, uh, I'm basically going in my subtool tab and I'm going to click on split hidden. But you have to be careful because when you click on this, you really have to make sure that the entire coat has been isolated from the rest of the outfit. What that will do is create a new subtool for whatever has been isolated. Now you may be wondering why I did not export the clothing as different pieces when in Marvelous Designer and the reason is pretty simple. If I had selected the option to have everything separated, a Marvelous Designer wouldn't know how to combine the pattern pieces and so I would have gotten everything separated. So for instance, what I mean is the right sleeve would be one subtool, the left sleeve would be another one, the front pattern one subtool, etc. And so I find it harder to try to find every subtool in the outliner and then merge them instead of having all the patterns combined together and isolate them in ZBrush to make whatever makes one piece of clothing. All right, so now that we have all of the pieces of the code together, what we wanna do is to merge the points. Because if you were to subdivide the mesh, so let's go in the geometry tab and click on dynamic subdivision, you can tell that everything is separate. So to fix that issue, let's remove the dynamic subdivision and go under modify topology and click on weld points. That is going to merge all of the vertices that were close enough one to another and Again, when I'm clicking on dynamic subdivision, you can actually see the result. There is a big but to that. Uh, like I said, it's only working with the vertices that were close enough one to another. So as you can see, some pieces are still floating. So to merge the rest of the vertices, we're going to use once again Z Modeler and zoom into the coat and let me show you the multiple ways of accomplishing this task. The first way is a pretty long way if you were to use it alone, but it is good to know for the following actions. So with the Z modeler, let's put the pointer on the vertice and then click on space and click on stitch. Select the stitch and once this is selected, you're going to be able to merge two points together by clicking on them both. And so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The next way is much faster than clicking on every point to merge them. This time around, uh, you're going to have to point the brush on the edge. And again, with space, select stitch. That will merge the entire loop edge for you once you select two edges. This 
doesn't always work though like here if i was to do the same thing as you can see uh, the entire loop has been combined so to avoid that the trick is simply to select the points at each extremities and merge them together and only once you've accomplished that you can use the stitch edge tool all right, so let's try and do the same thing with the sleeve loop. Let's select two points together to combine. And now I want to try and combine the entire loop edge. But as you can see, it didn't work the way I intended to. So I don't know the exact reason why it does that, but I do know how to fix it. And as you can see, I'm using the masking tool using control and slide with the mouse. And I'm basically blocking every point that I don't want to merge uh, so that they are blocked. And then I can use the stitch tool wherever I want it to work. Then I reverse the mask and I'm simply, again, blocking every vertice that I do not want to combine to finally be able to stitch the rest together. So this is basically the methods that I use wherever it doesn't go the way I intend it to go. And basically it will be your job to really use the tools accordingly. All right, so once again, I'm in a dynamic subdivision view and there are no holes to be found. But by merging everything together, we lost all the sewing lines that were found in Marvelous Designer because they were simply a preview. So I'm putting back the wireframe view and with the Z modeler selected, I'm simply going to select bevel uh, when I'm going to point on the edge. So I'm clicking on the space bar uh, while the pointer was on the edge and I'm clicking on bevel edge loop complete. So that will allow me to create an entire loop edge with a different polygroup color. And now I'm making sure that it's doing the entire loop. And uh, if it is, I'm putting the pointer on the face, the new faces that were created, have extrude selected and pulley group island. And then I can push the entire island down to create this deep hole, which is the sewing line. So now if I was to try to go and click on dynamic subdivision, you might get this error, which is mesh integrity. Uh, so simply to fix that, you have to go in mesh integrity in the geometry tab and click on fix and that will basically fix the issue. Once this is done, you're going to be able to do the same thing over and over again for all of your other sewing line on your clothing that were supposed to be, uh, you know, in Marvelous Designer, try and do them again in ZBrush. All right, so the final thing left I have to do is create the UVs. So that is the main reason why I absolutely needed to have polygroups on my clothing. So I'm just putting the Z plugin tab on the left and go under UV master. And then I'm clicking on polygroup so that uh, every polygroup becomes its own UV shell. Now to unwrap, uh, you just need to go into your lowest subdivision before clicking on it. And then when you flatten, you can actually see the result. Now here, uh, the only problem is that we have a lot of UVs that have been separated because of the bevels that I have added, which were different polygroup island. So in order to fix that with control shift, I'm basically going to isolate those parts. And then when I'm going to the selection, which I have isolated, I'm going to be able to click on auto polygroup so that everything it becomes the same color. So I'm just going to speed the process here and basically do the same thing over and over again until every part of the clothing is well separated into different shell UVs. All right, so now that this is complete, I can finally go back into my UV master and click on unwrap. And uh, what you should see is 
the UVs much cleaner than they were before. I can turn them around now if I want them to be placed cleaner. The, the reason why I'm placing the UVs right now is because if I want to do a projection of uh, textures and details, that will allow me to do so. All right, so now with all of this complete, uh, if I put the code on a dynamic subdivision or if I subdivide the mesh, as you can see, it's looking crisp. All the sewing lines are present and all of the pieces are sewn together. All right, guys. So <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it once again if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any suggestions on what my next video should be about you can leave a comment down below and finally subscribe if you want to see more tutorials other than that you can follow me on my social media instagram twitch our station i don't know if i'm missing any but uh, they'll be linked down below all right guys so i'll be seeing you in the next video until then be creative hey guys it's me again so just before you leave if you're still watching this video uh, very sorry about the quality of the screen capture um, that was recorded way before I knew how to correctly record so yeah very 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 sorry about that uh, if you have any suggestions again don't hesitate to let me know and I'll look through the comments uh, on social media so okay guys see you again